Other a lot of people in the hospital, more than 500, will be marching towards Russia soon, for real. The commander is dead and a lot of guys are wounded and we have to replace them with someone. Our whole brigade was bombed, those left were taken out, everyone got hit. These fragments of intercepts of telephone conversations between Russian military officers and former colleagues and relatives have been published by the main directorate of intelligence of Ukrainian Defense Ministry. The Russians complain about huge losses. The general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces reported that Russia had lost more than 340,000 servicemen during the full-scale war against Ukraine. The U.S. intelligence agency counted 315,000. The Ukraine war has cost Russia 315,000 dead and injured troops, or nearly 90% of the personnel it had when the conflict began. Moscow's losses in personnel and armored vehicles to Ukraine's military have set back Russia's military modernization by 18 years, from a publication in Reuter citing a declassified U.S. intelligence report. According to U.S. intelligence, 13,000 Russian occupiers were killed or wounded near Avdiivka in Donetsk region alone. The Kremlin does not count its losses. Putin needs Avdiivka to present some kind of achievement to the Russians. Vladimir Putin and his entourage are thirsty for territorial acquisitions because it is necessary to sell somehow, to sell the so-called special military operation, and this can only be achieved by reporting on any advances of the Russian army on the battlefield. No matter how much Russian propaganda hides their losses, it is obvious that more than 300,000 killed and seriously wounded Russian soldiers are extremely difficult to hide even in a country as large in area and population as Russia. During the 21 months of full-scale war against Ukraine, the Russian army has lost almost 5,700 tanks, more than 10,500 armored combat vehicles and more than 8,000 artillery systems and about 920 multiple rocket launchers. Against the backdrop of large-scale equipment losses, the Kremlin is trying to increase its own arms production, but outdated Soviet vehicles remain the main resource for replenishing the equipment of the occupation army. They have increased the scale of deconservation, the storage, repair, modernization of military equipment, mostly the equipment from the Soviet Union times. And when they say that they have multiplied production, it's not production, it's just the repair of old Soviet equipment. The Russian Federation has already lost 26 times more soldiers in the war against Ukraine than in two Russian-Chechen wars and almost 23 times more than the Soviet Union did in Afghanistan, reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Valeria Nikipelova, UATV News.